I'm Andrew Harper from Neural Instrument Systems and today we're going to show you the Solmetric SunEye, um, how to use that on a rain gauge and solar radiation sensor. We're using these devices so that we can um, map the sun paths, see how they change over time with uh, vegetation growth, building, grow, um, building installations and so on. Um, so, just going to get this out. The beauty of this means that we can actually set it up and take it from the same place every time um, and so you can actually get a get a very good sort of snapshot over, over time. Um, so we'll get that lined up roughly to north, turn it on and we've got a full uh, fisheye lens here, the stylus that I'm going to use has come out of the top of the unit here. Um, when you turn the unit on by turning on the power button it wakes up to the last screen that was that was active and down on the bottom here we've got a little um, little set button. So for each station is a session and a skyline is where you're going to take um, your snapshot from. So one skyline will be from a rain gauge, um, if you've got two rain gauges do it from both rain gauges and um, also from the solar radiation sensor. So the first one we're going to do is a session. We want a, a new session and you come with just a keypad, edit the, edit the title case here we will call it uh, Kyle Street yes um, this keypad you can actually change styles too by clicking that button there to the standard QWERTY button as well um, keypad um, so if you find that more convenient Next, and then we're going to um, let the GPS pick the um, location. Um, if you know it, you can also do a menu entry as well, um, but typically we'll just let the, the in inbuilt GPS do that. And it'll go away and it may come up straight away, uh, it may take as it says several minutes to do it. Okay, so now the next bit we're going to do is um, create a skyline, and we'll do this from the ring gauge. Um, so again, it's just hit the skyline. Um, and hit new. We want uh, true, so all our all our directions are all, all based on true. Um, now these units were set up for solar panel arrangements, so it has a tilt which is based on the latitude. Because we're doing things in the um, horizontal plane, we're just going to make that back to zero. Okay, so we're back here to zero. And okay. Okay, so we've got this set up on here. Um, we're about to take ourselves a new skyline. So as you can see, as we change the angle on this, it changes the compass. So we basically want to get that compass as near as possible to, to 360 degrees and true, or also level. Now, in terms of level, this will tell you if it's too far off level. Um, so we're quite happy just to try and get this as level as possible. And as you can see through here, through the picture, because we're looking in from the top, we're actually showing all this um, uh, obstructions here. So for the rain gauges, because we want to show what all the vegetation is and the uh, um, obstructions around to the side, we're actually going to get down nice and low on this, um, so we're below the fisheye fish point, and we're just going to tap the snap button in the bottom right hand corner, and it will go ping to tell us it's done a successful. And so now it is just acquiring the skyline. Um, and now it comes up, it's gone away and calculated the solar access at the moment. Um, and we just need to add a note to say where we actually took it from. We can see the um, yellow, which is basically clear sky and green shading. Um, we can either check that here, but it's a lot easier to do it on the computer because it um, just makes a bigger scale. Um, and we can edit some of it out. Sometimes it picks up the blue sky um, as shading as well. So, um, but you'll be able to look at it in more detail to, to see what that is. Okay, so we're just going to tap a note here um, to say where it is, just so we know where we've taken it from. And again, we just add our note in here, and we will say this one's from the Ota ring gauge, and enter. Um, so you'll do that for each of the each of the places you take it from. So that way, when this unit comes back, we now know which particular skyline is taken from which instrument. So north is to the top of the picture, south to the bottom, east west, and these are the times 
that, that show the sun pass throughout the year. Um, if we want to view how each month go, or the full fisheye, so this will show what sort of picture we took. So it obviously shows here we've got these nice big trees all coming through here, um, buildings out to the east here. And so if we come back to this site in you know, one, two or three years time, um, take this fisheye from exactly the same spot, you might expect to see these trees come in a wee bit closer um, just with the tree growth that's happened. And so that's the idea of um, using this device for that. Um, we can also use the solar access and this is particularly good from the solar radiation sensors. Um, and at the moment it's shown here in August in particular, we've got a very low period. Um, so obviously just one big tree that's particularly in the way. Um, and throughout the month it's pretty poor, again, due to those trees that are out, out to the west. Okay, so we'll go and take this now from the solar radiation sensor, which is going to be up a wee bit higher, and um, we'll show you how that works. Now the unit itself has an inbuilt compass, um, and the pipe work itself um, interferes with that. So what we need to do is we need to override the inbuilt compass. Um, as can be seen on this pole here, um, it makes quite a, quite a substantial difference um, to the heading. Um, it's pretty much lined up true north there, but it's showing um, 13, 14 degrees. Uh, or 7 degrees, so it's actually changing quite a bit as we, as we go through here. So we can actually override this, so we go into the setup button, top left hand corner, and at the moment it says it's aligned with compass. Okay, so we're now going to make that aligned with target. Okay, and now what that has done is it's actually put this mark up through the centre of the, of the picture. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way we face this now, that target's lined up through through the north there. Okay, now we know how our, our sights are laid up, which way true north is, either from the cross arm of the mast or through the boom of the of, of the mast. Um, so we can actually get that, that pretty accurate. And essentially all we're going to do is just line it up on top of the solar radiation sensor, get that as level as possible. Um, now we know here that our mast is aligned north-south, so we can actually get a pretty accurate line up of um, where we are on our mast as well. And all we're going to do here is just reach over to the top. And when I can find it, click our picture, hear the ping, and it will tell us whether or not we're successful or not. And we are in this case. Um, you'll get a message if the unit is not, not level. It will come up with a message that says auto adjusting for 19 degree tilt at the time of snap. The sun will automatically adjust for its tilt and heading orientation at the time every skyline is captured for the best looking skyline sun pass or the sun ice steady with plus or minus 5 degrees level. Um, so we've either got retry or continue and so we're going to retry that again. Wait for the ping. Ping was successful. And skyline was acquired successfully as well. And then when you're done, um, if you want to create a new skyline, you click on that button there, skyline and new. Uh, or if you're finished, just simply turn the unit off.